the second video in this sequence, the focus is going to be on the use of our metal ester high energy fuel blocks. These blocks are made with a methyl ester that's bio-derived, 100% bio-derived methyl ester. It's non-toxic, both um, as the chemical and the combustion products, unlike hexamine and trioxane, which are both toxic in themselves, as are the combustion products from those two fuels. Now, to run this high energy density fuel, we have to change the configuration of this stove. And we do that by the insertion of a different crucible configuration that simply slides into the stove and sits there under gravity. We then replace the pan holder frame into position. We add, as before, our flame focusing collar and that slides, slides in into position and they just sit there, no clicks, no um, fixing and finally as before we add the fuel addition chute and again that snaps into position under the frame and locks essentially everything into position. That's now locked, nothing will move. At the end of this test we will demonstrate how we can save any remaining unburnt fuel through the use of a simple device such as this. Now, as before, we will be using 5 litres of water that has had the temperature adjusted to near 20 degrees. And this is 19.4 degrees at the start. And to get this started, we will be using pre-weighed fuel blocks. We will use the small version of our offerings, not the large one. And we will use these as we did with the biomass, um, refueling as we go along. And at the end, we will then again weigh the residual and work out how much fuel it took of this high energy density fuel to bring five litres of water to the boil. So this fuel that we start with are pre-broken off individual blocks. These will come as a large block that are you snap off what you need to use. So let's get this started. The first thing we need to do is to pre-charge the chamber with a, three of these. So we slide it in underneath one. Two, three. The fourth one we light before we push it in. So the fourth one sits on the pan. We will light it. Wait just a few seconds to be sure that the block is properly lit coming up to temperatures. Then we will slide this underneath and start recording. Start the test, turn the fan on, we start slow to start with and then we turn this up to maximum and as before we will come back at regular intervals probably every five minutes to see how we're getting on. Five minutes in, we are at 43, 44 degrees, and there is no need for any more fuel to be added just yet. So we're about to roll over 10 minutes, and we 
we are at 71 degrees. And as there is a slight indication from the noise of a reduction in power, we will add now a further single block. So we are about to roll over 15 minutes now. We are at 97 degrees. And we are now boiling at 15 minutes and 45 seconds. We're now going to demonstrate the control that we have with this stove in this configuration. By turning the fan down now, I can progressively reduce the power and by going down to minimum setting on the fan we are now at what would ordinarily be termed a fast simmer. We can go down and turn the fan off although we don't really need to do that but if we turn the fan off completely the burn goes right down to absolute minimum. There is still enough air getting into the stove in this configuration for the fuel blocks to burn very slowly, very gently and maintain a very soft simmer. Now at this point I'm going to remove the pan demonstrate that we can indeed I'm going to just roll in a little bit so that we can see that we still have very clean burn hardly any luminosity to the flame and no smoke and I want to demonstrate that there is clearly fuel still burning in this stove but we can save the remaining fuel for use later on a later occasion and it's very simply done by using a very simple device that we're calling a snuffer we just place this over the top and it's out and once this is cooled down we will then weigh the residuals left over to de determine just how much fuel we have used for this demonstration so weighing the residual left in this crucible and taking into account the unburnt fuel that was left in the tub we on this test got five liters of water to the boil using just 120 grams of these high energy methyl ester based fuel blocks 